What's going on, miners? Chump Change XD here. Hope you're all staying healthy, having a great day. Today, courtesy of Belay Mining, we're going to be testing out the iPolo V1 Mini Classic that is supposed to be getting 280 mega hashes at roughly 270 watts. This thing is a sleek black design. I'm super excited to try it out. So if you guys are into that, let's do it. All right, so here we are over at belaymining.com. Again, these are the guys that sent this unit over to us. Now scrolling down a little bit, this is the V1 Mini Classic Plus ETC Miner, 280 mega hash. And I've noticed they are on sale right now. 1922 was the original price. They're going for 1499. So that is obviously a much better price for this unit. And what I'm gonna do is go compare GPUs and prices at the end of this video, 280 mega hash worth of GPUs for the amount of wattage and price and we'll see if this thing's actually worth the money towards the end of the video now if we scroll down here just to look at the specs on this unit the hash rate again 280 mega hashes plus or minus 10 percent that means it can go 10 percent higher or 10 percent lower depending on you know silicon lottery type deal stuff inside this machine power consumption 270 watts again plus or minus 10 percent then we have a vram of 3.6 gigabytes the power supply itself can actually be used on 120 volts or 240 volts. So what this means is you can plug this thing pretty much anywhere around your house. It's only going to pull under 300 watts and the power supply is good for a 240 volt outlet or 120 volt outlet here in the US, which is amazing. Um, the hardware configuration, it says network connection mode, RJ45 Ethernet 10 slash 100 M. 2.4 gigahertz and it also does wi-fi so that's amazing again you can put this literally anywhere um let's go over here quick i want to just show you guys the dag size on this unit so it's a 3.6 dag size right now this unit will be able to mine until the 28th of april 2024 so just under two years you guys will be able to use this unit on etc then it becomes a doorstop so you guys are going to have to decide if you want to spend the kind of money on this unit or if you want to buy gpus but as of right now this unit is very efficient and hopefully it ends up paying off so just before we get into hooking this thing up i just kind of wanted to go over belay mining's homepage. now if we see right here they have a bunch of different categories and you can come down here to shop by category numerous amounts of asics bitcoin grin they have etc and ethereum miners they are also running a pretty decent sale if we look at all this stuff i mean you guys can determine if it's worth it for you if not no big deal i'm not here trying to shill anything i just wanted to show you guys this and they do take various payments like visa mastercard paypal all things like that so feel free to shop these guys i'll leave a link down in the description below as well as a coupon code if you guys are interested now let's get this thing hooked up and see what it actually does all right so i just plugged the unit in to the wall and to the ethernet cable now what we need to do is find the local ip address for this unit i use advanced ip scanner i will leave a link to that website in the description below so you guys can go ahead and download it now what we do is just choose scan and it should scan everything on your network and i'll have to blur a lot of this out but you guys will see it in a second all right so as you can see the advanced ip scanner has scanned my entire network and given me all of the local ips for everything in my router now over here there is an arrow pointing towards the ipolo miner you want to click that drop down and now what you want to do is double click on the http all it does is take that local ip address and it puts it into your browser so you can actually get into the unit so what we're going to do is user right now is root and the password is also root all lowercase and here we are at the dashboard of the ipolo v1 mini plus now you can see the firmware version is 38.40 and this can be updated directly through this uh browser here i highly recommend you guys hit that little star up next to the url and save it to your bookmark so you don't have to remember the local ip address especially if you have more units like mini doges and things like that it gets confusing after a while um, again you can come down here firmware update you can system password change definitely recommend you guys doing that they have the running status the running log error log you have wireless which is again amazing because you can just plug it in anywhere around your house that has wi-fi and a good connection they have fan configuration minor configuration which what we need is that so 
right now this thing's up and mining and it's just going to the dev wallet or something the creator of this unit i'm not really sure but it's pre-programmed with something already in here so if you just plug it in and leave it alone you're just mining to someone else's wallet highly recommend you guys don't do that right here pool two and three i'm gonna delete everything because i don't need any of that i only need pool one um, we're going to come over here and we're going to go to ethermine.com that's what i choose to mine on i'm going to choose let's start mining now and i'm going to be right here with the us1 etc ethermine.org we're going to copy this i'm going to highlight this right here and i'm going to paste it after the two forward slashes then we're going to add a colon and we're gonna go and double check right here the stratum port we want 4444 so that's what i'm gonna do again colon 4444 and that's that all right so now right here where it says ipolo mini we're gonna just delete that and i'm gonna paste my wallet address in here now i'm gonna type a period and i'm gonna name it the ipolo v1 mini and then the password you guys can change it i'm not gonna change it this time obviously because i'm recording i don't want you guys to see that I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. I'm going to click save and apply. So now it's going to apply the changes. It's going to take a little bit of time and it's going to have to reboot the actual rig. Now let's see what this thing does. Full bore hash rate and wattage at the wall. All right, we're back. This took a little while, not going to lie. So it was about an hour and a half for it to fully register up to this point right here. It actually got to 260 at one point. It's just floating around 257 mega hash. Its average is at 170, obviously, because it's only been running for like an hour and a half. We have an immature balance of 0 0.008. So I already had 0 0.005 on this wallet. So we've made 0 0.3 daily earnings. It says we're going to get about 0 0.1 ETC. If we go weekly, it'll be 0 0.8. And then monthly, it'll be 3.5 so let's see what that equates to in usd so roughly around 60 bucks right now at the current market etc is at 16.19 so i mean we've seen this thing go up to 160 dollars at one point i believe was the all-time high let me just double check make sure i'm not wrong all-time high 167.09 so in the last bull run etc did run up pretty high but you would have to mine and hold it for quite some time to hopefully see some sort of all-time high again I mean who knows to each his own now let's uh go to the ipolo dashboard i just wanted to make one thing known here this web gui they have is not that great when it comes to monitoring as you can see it is stuck around 130 it says 131 hash rates but when you look at the hash rate here we're at 257 so the pool's at least reporting it right the gui is wrong so it is what it is just uh be well aware of that and like i said it does take about an hour to an hour and a half for it to get up to speed now we're looking at right around 233 watts i'll leave a picture right here on the screen so you guys can see and the decimal reading is right around 50s when you're like a little bit away from it i had my phone with the decimal reader app right on top of the actual unit and it was around 70s so overall this machine's really not too loud it's literally running right next to me and i'm assuming you guys can't really hear it so that's that all right so last but not least i wanted to compare the 3070 founders edition with this asic because the price of the founders edition is actually msrp'd right around 500 dollars, and i feel like that's a very fair price for 62 mega hash all right so here's just some simple math i wrote down in a notepad now we have the rtx 3070 founders edition the msrp at best buy is 499 now hash rate 62 mega hash wattage right around 130 watts we have four of those gpus in the next section right in the middle msrp for four of those 3070s would be 1996 the hash rate would be 248 mega hashes give or take a little then the wattage would be right around 520 watts or so for those four cards to run you know that doesn't include the motherboard or anything like that i'm just doing rough number right around 130 watts per card now ipolo v1 mini plus this unit right here msrp was 1922 there is a sale going on so the thing is 1499 right now the hash rate gets between 250 to 280 which it claims i haven't seen 280 yet but it is a little bit over 250 i've seen 260 on this unit so far wattage for me is right around 233 so i just put 235 ish it's supposed to get up to 270 or so ish so i guess we'll just have to see but 
looking at these numbers right here i mean the only downside to the ipolo versus the gpus would be the fact that the ipolo can't mine anything else besides ethereum classic until what april 2024 so that's um you know obviously a downside it's going to become a doorstop the gpus you can actually mine other things so unless they come up with some sort of firmware update where it can actually allow the ipolo to mine something else you're kind of shit out of luck i guess they would say but um i mean it's really up to you guys overall the price is literally right on point and it seems like a decent deal if this thing could pay off before you had to stop mining on it so overall what do you guys think about this ipolo v1 mini plus now 280 mega hashes if it gets that high for 270 watts to be honest is a pretty good deal for me anyways and being at such a low wattage it's 233 watts right now at the wall that you know i have the thing running at it says it could pull up to around 270 so i mean i'm happy with it right where it is right now you guys can be the judge of that if it's worth it to you the sale is obviously a huge deal taking 500 off of this unit is literally like giving you a free gpu basically so in my opinion it's pretty cool the only thing that sucks about it is the vram of this unit being 3.6 and being up in april of 2024 that's really the only tough part i hope they come up with a firmware update but huge shout out to belay mining thank you guys so much for sending this over and if you guys want to purchase one of these i do have a coupon code it is cc25 off I will leave it down in the description below as well as a referral code if you guys would like to use it feel free if not no big deal i'm not here to shill anything i just wanted to give an honest review of this unit this is my true opinion so if you guys appreciated this content please go down here hit this like button don't forget to subscribe and if you guys haven't seen this video or this video please go check them out and i'll see you guys soon peace